What's up guys, it's your Motivational Gamer and welcome to another video. Today we're going to be showcasing the Wind Fairy King. Uh, Ganymede uh, is his name, Ganymede, yeah, which is also a satellite, is the name of the satellite and one of Jupiter's moon. It is also a, a hero of Greek mythology. So you guys look that up. He had something to do with Zeus and the Chalice, I can't remember. I remember reading it, I was like, oh, okay, that's cool, yeah, alright. You know, and I just get past it. But for those of you guys who are curious where the name Ganymede comes from, that's where it comes from. So today we're talking about that Wind Fairy King and what he does for you in combat. If you guys are wondering why I have a full team of level forties with him, it's because I want to show you guys his skill demonstration and how he works. Basically, my man Ganymede. Hold on, let me get to him here because I'm sure he's the slowest on this team. Yep, he sure is. <clears throat> Ganymede is. <clears throat> excuse me. Ganymede is a combination. Of Zeros, Jameer, and Zeros. Zeros, Jameer, and Zeros, and Varad. Sorry. So, Fire Dragon, Water Dragon, Wind Dragon. Except he is a single target skill user. Primarily, the argument that people have is this from that five is a waste because Jameer is better. Hmm. Arguable. Sure, Jameer has AoE skill reset. Sure, Jameer reduces attack power. Sure. But when you look at this particular unit and you look at how his skills work together, he has an amazing kit. So if you guys have been fortunate enough to pull this unit, we are going to talk about how you're going to build this unit and use this unit in your box. So, skill three, attacks the enemy, dropping the target's attack bar to zero, <coughs> aka Varad, um, and puts all skills on cooldown, aka Zeros. Skill two, ventilate, instantly readies all skills of an ally. Ventilate will not be affected by cooldown reduction or increasing skills, aka Jameer. Right now, <clears throat> his first skill attacks the enemy two times because obviously what he does on skill two and three just wasn't enough. So we just decided to go ahead and add a beneficial effect removal on skill one. But it's only thirty percent, you might argue. But yeah, thirty percent chance on each strike, and then you max the skill it goes to, to to a total of fifty percent. You know what I mean? Double attack, mm, jump shot, bye Felicia. I'm just saying. So those are his three skills. So after some testing on him. There's a couple of things that I've found out. So a third skill almost has, it's close to about a five times multiplier, meaning it hits hard, okay? So that's gonna open up some options for this particular unit, especially since he reduces beneficial effects on one with the double attack, and then he ready, and then obviously skill two is not influenced by cooldown reduction or, or increasing abilities. So what that means to you is, Zeros, bye Felicia, right? You don't care. You know, but at the same time, Mav, um, any kind of Mav, any kind of Dark Pirate Captain is not going to influence the reset of the skill. Um, so that skill is just kind of there independently all on its own, just chilling, right? So now on his third skill, um, he'll use that. And then most of the time with his AI tendency, and this is something that's important to you guys that you guys should should understand. Uh, what I've noticed, we'll go ahead and run this, this fight out now. We'll put it on one time so you, so you guys can see this. His tendency is to dispel, or not to, not to dispel, but to uh, reset himself. So instead of using ventilate on other units, like let's say Konamiya, who just researches like the person who had their last turn, his particular tendency, his AI tendency, is to reset himself. So he can continue to use his third skill um, over and over and over and over again. So keeping that in mind, Again, that opens up a lot of options for this particular unit, unit, mainly because of his high multiplier on skill three. With that, especially on an AI situation, let's say if you're trying to use him for AD or for dungeons or whatever, he can dole out a lot of damage because of the near 500% multiplier that he has. So he can put out big numbers, which opens um, you know, the idea or the opportunity for you to build him as an attack build. So like an attack percent, crit damage, attack percent build with you know speed, crit damage, crit rate, and attack percent subs, uh, if that's what you wanna go. However, what I primarily recommend for this unit um, is going to be as a support build because where he's going to shine most is going to be the arena, TOA, maybe giants, but not quite, but mostly arena and TOA. <laughs> because when he's coming in with the ventilate, it's instantly basically resetting all the cooldowns, which is going to give you more opportunities to do what you need to do. So most of the time, you're not really going to be autoing with this particular unit, so his AI doesn't really matter, if that makes sense. 
Does it matter on your AD? Yes. And since he has a tendency to lean towards uh, ventilating himself, you guys should take that into consideration when you're running this unit. So like, of course, as I'm talking about, he's ventilating everybody else, but normally he ventilates himself. It's about a 60% of the time he's going to ventilate himself. The other 40%, he will ventilate others. Um, I have not quite, you know, kind of honed in on what his um, ventilate order is or what it depends on. But that's just how he works, essentially, which is interesting. Uh, so, again, this unit, because of his unique skill kit, since he can basically do everything the three dragons can do, uh, minus the AoE, of course, um, he can be very, very useful. Uh, that opens up a lot of options for you. Are you going to ruin him violent? Sure. Are you going to ruin him despair if you want to add a stun capability to his third skill, even though it's a single target? Sure you could. Are you going to ruin him swift so he can go first and reset the annoying people and, you know, and take care of those kind of things? Could you? Yes. Um, there's a lot of different ways. I recommend basically any kind of rune build. The first way you're going to look at this unit, though, and ask yourself is whether or not you're going to want him as an attack type or a defense support type. They're going to be two primarily different builds. Again, attack is going to be more like I'm an attack percent, crit rate or crit damage in slot 4, attack percent in slot 6. Support would be like a speed HP death. Attack can also be speed, crit damage or crit rate, attack percent in slot 6 if you want to use him for the speed for the reset so he gets as many turns as possible. And support obviously still is going to be speed HP death or speed HP accuracy with a lot of defense HP accuracy speed subs etc. But when you're looking at this unit again you have two different ways you can build them. Could you build them a hybrid? Sure. But if you're going to go the hybrid route make sure you have insane runes meaning like your runes are just insane and your subsets are insane and you're able to do it insane. Otherwise I would just you know not do it right <laughs> so just decide what you want this particular unit to be attack or defense again you can use them bio if you want multiple turns you can use them despair if you want to add another you know layer of protection um, or a layer of annoyance for the enemy you can use them swift if you want them to go first you can use um anything essentially uh, but those are the three primarily that i would recommend hell you can run them fatal if you want to really build them at just as the damage but that's what we're looking at for this particular unit. For this particular unit. But that's all I wanted to cover today for the Wind Fairy King, y'all. Um, overall, though, he's an awesome unit. Out of 10, I give this guy uh, 9. 8 or 9? 9. 9. I give him a 9 out of 10. Uh, could there be some rooms, rooms, room for improvement? Like better AI features? Sure. Um, but yeah, 9 out of 10. Lower cooldowns would make him a 10. But he's, he's good. He's good. Boom. Good seal of approval but thank you guys so much for tuning in as always this is your motivational gamer and we talked about the fairy king today give this video a thumbs up if you liked it and you learned something about the fairy king today about his ai um and then give it a thumbs down if you didn't learn anything or you just hated it or you just you're just mad because you didn't get the wood fairy king i, I don't know you know you yell at me yell at Khan. um but that's it and again if you give me a thumbs down tell me why you give me a thumbs down man so we can continue to improve the quality of our content and and uh we'll see you guys in the next video all right Peace.